was special about the Spizwinks, and how does one memorize the Canterbury Tales? <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this might require some explanation. Um, when I, uh, I went to college um, at Yale, and, uh, and I joined an a cappella group called the Yale Spizwinks, which was um, the second oldest a cappella group next to the Whip and Poops. Um, <laughs> And they were sort of formed in, in a satirical response to the Whiff and Poops, and ever since were sort of um, always blended humor with their music. Um, and I think that's what drew me to them. Um, in addition to the fact that when I first saw them sing, they did this. Uh, I was I was a freshman at, at Yale and taking English 125, uh, for which you had to memorize the first uh, 20 lines of the Canterbury Tales. One that appeal the shoe to suit them. The Dracht of March have passed to the And the Spizwings had a song um, of this, <laughs> which definitely spoke to me because I had just, I was, you know, I was trying to learn it. Um, and they had set the first, you know, first 20 couplets of the, of the Canterbury Tales to Billy Joel's For the Longest Time. So my, <laughs> <laughs> One that April will be sure to suit the Dracht of March to the root. Uh, <laughs> um, it just didn't. Uh, it just didn't work at all. But, but uh, it made me fall in love with 